Early July 2009, the Humane Society of the United States uh, Animal Rescue Team assisted the Humane Society of Missouri with one of the largest, if not the largest, dog fighting raid in uh, U.S. history. On each and every deployment that we go on to, responders typically find a dog that we connect with. And whether that dog picks you or you pick him, uh, in this case, we named a dog Stallone because of his personality and the fact that he had just survived a fight. When I saw Stallone's face, several things went through my mind. Um, first, this was a dog in desperate need. Second off, you ask yourself, why do people do this to animals? It's, uh, it's cruel. It's, it's one of the most horrible things that I've ever seen. I've, I've actually never seen a dog in that bad of condition. Before. Stallone, however, caught me off guard with his injuries. I mean, that face, he just, very sweet eyes, tail always wagging the entire time. So it was very, it was more of an emotional thing to become attached to that dog. I mean, really, it's heartbreaking. I mean, he had such severe injuries to the face, but he just wanted to be held and touched and, and was actually very docile. I mean, a, a dog like that, he, he just wants to please his owner. Uh, he just, unfortunately, was bred into a home that instead of facilitating uh, a companion relationship, he was used for uh, being pitted against other dogs, but his condition was, you know, grave. Shin swollen. I hate to think of what he went through. I just can't imagine. He was ripped apart. I mean, that type of damage would not have happened in just a quick couple of minutes. I mean, that type of damage was, a, was probably a, a, a longer match, half hour plus. <clears throat> it's, it's sick. I don't see how another human can do that. Well, tail was the only thing that really didn't have any bite marks on it. That poor dog was just wagging away, wagging away. I can't quite wrap my mind around how a dog who has been that physically and mentally abused um, can still curl up in your lap and give you a kiss. And even though he doesn't know who I am, he was happy we were there. This was most definitely not Stallone's first fight. It was actually kind of hard to tell how significant the wounds were on his face until we put him under so we could clean his face and clean all the wounds off. If you looked in Stallone's eyes, you could see that he was, he was suffering and all he wanted was a kind hand just to, to be pet or held, you know, wagging his tail gently. Every vet there worked almost around the clock fighting to save Stallone's life. In the end, his wounds were so extensive that we lost him. I mean, I believe that Stallone's story should be told. I think that's something that people need to see. This is, this is the real face of dog fighting. All they, really, all they really wanted was somebody to love them. Give them a good pet, give them a good home. You know, dogs like that just want love and attention. I actually have a picture of Stallone up in my cubicle and that um, when I'm here at the office that is what reminds me every day that this is why I continue to do this. <laughs>